Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. What does it mean to be pleased to dwell? What does it mean to be pleased to dwell? Get 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 10. Test, test, test. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 10. And unto the Mary I command, yet not I, but the Lord. Let not the wife depart from her husband. So we know that the law says that a wife is bound by law unto her husband as long as he lives. I think that's in Romans 12 or so for Romans 7. Read. Verse 11. But, and if she depart, let her remain unmarried or be reconciled to her husband. And right. let not the husband put away his wife. Read. Verse 12, but to the rest speak I, not the Lord. If any brother hath a wife that believeth not, and she be pleased to dwell with him, let him not put her away. Three. And the woman which hath an husband that believeth not, and if he be pleased to dwell with her, let her not leave him. Three. Verse 14, for the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife, and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Else were your children unclean, but now are they holy. All right, so go back up to uh, 12. First Corinthians 7 and verse 12. But to the rest be I, not the Lord. If any brother hath a wife that believeth not, and she be pleased to dwell with him, let him not put her away. So this is a, a brother that has a wife. Brother said the truth. He has a wife, but she does not believe. It tells him not to put her away if she is pleased to dwell. Any brother have any idea what that means? In the, the last row. Can put my finger on his name. What's his name again? Robert. 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 Be pleased to dwell in um, following and following the commandments as he does, and basically following the feast days as he does, following the commandments as he does, and dressing appropriately as he should. That's the answer. That's correct. So we will get the understanding. So we will go through the go finish going through it. So it says, but to the rest be I not the Lord. If any brother hath a wife that believeth not, so this this wife, she doesn't believe. And she be pleased to dwell with him, let him not put her away. And verse 13 says the same thing, vice versa. Read verse 14. Verse 14, for the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife. So the, the husband that don't believe says he's sanctified by the wife. What is the wife doing? This is the number. This is this wife believes. But the husband don't believe. What is the wife doing? Uh brother use the use yeah. But this is it's starting with the woman, but the woman that believes, what is she doing? To cause her husband to be sanctified. The wife is letting the light shine. She's letting the light shine. And what's the light? Laws. Laws. Exactly. So the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife. Let's get sanctified. John chapter 17. 
John chapter 17 and verse 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. So it says the, the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife. And the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Why? Because that that um, even though that unbelief, even though they don't believe, they're keeping the commandments because they want to stay with their wife or their husband. That unbelieving husband, he's keeping the commandments because he wants him being pleased to dwell means that everything that his wife is learning as, as it relates to keeping the commandments, he's going to do it because he wanna keep the he wanna keep he wanna stay with his wife. He wants to keep their marriage. Whether they've been married five years, ten years, she comes into the truth, or vice versa, he comes into the truth. She don't she don't believe nothing this Bible says. But because her husband is doing it to keep their to keep their marriage, she gonna keep the commandment. She will do what he's teaching her. He will do. He's saying, "Hey, you gotta put on a dress and wear these fringes because I'm following the Bible now. And that's what the Bible say do. Even though she don't believe, she's gonna do. It. That's how she's sanctified by the husband because she's keeping the commandments. Like Christ just said, sanctify them through thy truth, which we know is God's laws according to Psalms. 119 verse 142. So sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is true. Read on in uh, 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 7 and 14. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 14. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife because he is keeping the commandments, even though he don't believe. He's keeping the commandments. Now he's not keeping the commandments. Just one, he's not keeping the commandments because he feared the most high. He keeping the commandments because his wife is doing it. And he just want to keep the relationship sound with his wife. Read. And the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. So she's putting, she's not wearing pants no more. She's putting on a dress with fringes on it because she wants to keep her marriage. She don't fear the most high God. She don't believe the Bible. But because that's what her husband is doing and she don't want to lose her marriage, she's, keep, she's putting that dress on her. She's keeping the Sabbath day holy. She's not cooking pork. Because her husband is doing that. And that's what her husband is showing her and teaching her. Read. Else were your children unclean, but now are they holy. So it says, else were your children unclean. When it says, else were your children unclean, what is it talking about? Confusion. Because if the, if the wife comes into the truth, she's keeping the commandments, but the husband, like, out of hell with that, I'm cooking my pork. That child will be like, okay, my mother is keeping the commandments. She said, I ain't supposed to eat pork, but my dad is cooking pork. The, the child is going to be confused. He don't know what, which way to go. Y'all follow me? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.